The ceiling grew a tail, and the man curiously reached out to pull it. A rat was pulled out, and Sam looked up at the ceiling. Then a horrifying scene unfolded. Luckily, it was just a nightmare, but it still scared Sam half to death. The next day, the millionaire was buried, and a priceless sword was used as a burial item. Sam had to dig it out to repay his high-interest loan. So, right after the millionaire was buried in the daytime, Sam secretly dug him out at night. Due to rampant rodent infestation in the cemetery, he had to act quickly, but when he opened the coffin, he saw the body being dragged away by a swarm of rats. Watching the body and sword slowly being dragged away, Sam suddenly realized that he couldn't repay his loan. He mustered up his courage and immediately crawled into the rat hole. Embarking on a thrilling adventure, due to the narrow tunnel, Sam couldn't catch up with the rats in front of him. He quickened his pace, but accidentally got stabbed in the eye by a tree root. Just then, a loud noise came from behind, and a large wave of rats swarmed towards him. In the cramped rat hole, Sam had no way to escape. The giant rats instantly crawled all over Sam's body, but luckily, he had brought a handgun. He quickly took it out to scare off the swarm of rats, but unfortunately, he accidentally shot himself in the toe. The pain made him scream in agony, and the one-eyed rat that had bitten him before stopped and mocked Sam. Enraged, Sam raised his hand and fired a shot at the rat. However, the noise from the commotion also awakened the mutant rat king, who was sleeping. Terrified, Sam hurriedly retreated, but when he cautiously looked again, he found that the rat king had already left. Due to living underground for a long time, the Rat King's eyes had degenerated, and it could only rely on its sense of smell. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Sam quietly aimed and fired two shots at the Rat King. In the chaos, his handgun fell to the ground, but Sam dared not pick it up. He could only continue to flee, while the Rat King chased after him swiftly. Un Unfortunately, Sam accidentally fell into a deeper area. It turned out to be the Rat Horde's burial ground, where all the dragged away bodies were kept. Sam was terrified, but he also noticed numerous burial items in the vicinity. He even discovered the priceless sword. And suddenly, hell turned into heaven. After getting up, Sam carefully surveyed his surroundings. It felt more like an underground temple of some sinister cult. The statues resembled Lovecraftian monsters. Strange and horrifying. At that moment, a mummified cultist caught Sam's attention. A necklace around the cultist's chest filled Sam's eyes with greed. However, as soon as he took it off, the mummified cultist suddenly came back to life. It grabbed Sam tightly, and in the struggle, Sam managed to tear off half of the mummified cultist's body. The mummified cultist still wanted to reclaim the necklace, leaving Sam frightened. He grabbed the sword and ran out. To to his dismay, the Rat King was waiting outside. With the mutant Rat King in front and the terrifying mummified cultist behind, Sam found himself in a desperate situation. Summoning his courage, Sam picked up the sword from the ground and aimed it at the Rat King, but ended up being pushed down by the Rat King. At the brink of death, Sam suddenly pulled on a tree root. A massive rock fell from above, crushing the Rat King to death instantly. Simultaneously, it blocked the pursuing mummified cultist. Clarifying the situation, continuing the story, Sam picked up a flashlight and shone it upwards, revealing a ray of sunlight at the end of the tunnel. After enduring countless hardships, he had finally survived. However, as he approached, he realized that it wasn't sunlight at all. It was just the reflection of the flashlight on the coffin plaque. He had unwittingly crawled into someone else's coffin. At that moment, the rat horde also arrived, mistaking Sam for a burial attendant and began gnawing at him. The scene shifted, and two small thieves arrived to loot the tomb. To their surprise, they found Sam lying inside, and one of them was about to reach for the necklace on Sam's body. Immediately frightened, the thieves ran away, and Sam paid the price for his greed. 